Well, we've been asked to say a few words uh, regarding stenting after open heart surgery for bypass because of the recent events surrounding former President Bill Clinton's uh, receiving a stent, or two stents actually, uh, in, the, in the recent uh, couple of days. And uh, so I've been asked to talk about why someone might receive a stent after receiving open heart surgery. And um, the main reason that uh, drives patients to come back to their doctors is the recurrence of symptoms or chest pain or discomfort in the chest, often described as a tightness rather than a pain, that uh, may recur at some point after surgery or after previous stenting, as in President Clinton's uh, case. And uh, fortunately, from the description of the newscast, uh, he was uh, smart enough to present to his cardiologist before actually having a heart attack, just presenting with the symptoms, which is typical for our practice. We often have patients calling or coming back in saying that, hey, you know, I had a stent two, two years ago or I had bypass five years ago, and now I'm having a recurrence of the same symptoms that I had before, which is a tight feeling in the chest. And apparently from the newscast, that's exactly what happened. He then underwent an angiogram, which is what we do uh, in this procedure suite here, and that revealed uh, some blockage. Now, according to the, cat, the newscast, uh, he received two stents in one artery. And what stenting does is basically restore normal blood flow to a blocked or narrowed artery where there's restriction in blood flow. And it's the restriction in blood flow to that particular portion of the heart muscle that causes the symptoms of chest tightness. And in an extreme case, if you wait too long, can actually lead to a heart attack, which fortunately, again from the newscast, that was not the case in, in President Clinton's um, um, case. So um, the stent actually expands the plaque against the vessel wall, restoring normal blood flow. There are really two types of stents that can be used. There are numerous manufacturers, but the two basic type of stents are either a drug eluding stent, which are referred to by patients as a medicated stent, or what's called a bare metal stent, which has no medication or no coating on it. Uh, recovery after a stent procedure, typically here patients go home the very next day. They have a stent procedure done, and assuming everything went well, they would go home the next day. Recovery is very short, about five days of restricted activity, uh, but normal activity can resume within 24 hours. Yeah, here at the uh, Inova Heart and Vascular Institute, we do about 8,000 coronary procedures per year. About 2,700 of those are stent procedures, or what are called coronary interventions. Um, and we've been doing this for the past 20 years here. Uh, we do have a very large center with uh, 11 procedure rooms. Uh, we have numerous cardiologists on staff who are very well trained to do these procedures, both in an elective and an emergency situation such as a heart attack.